All right, so today we're going to talk about graphing inequalities with the graphing calculator. So hopefully you've already mastered graphing these by hand and you know all the tricks for that. So we're just going to give you the tools here to be able to check your work and just start to feel confident with using that calculator more and more. We will um, later be graphing like quadratic inequalities. So this skill will be important more than just for checking your work here. We will definitely use it later um, in additional units. So we're going to start with, I've got two different inequalities up here that we're going to kind of go through these steps for. So the first step um, is that when we go to graph something, we have to solve that equation for y because um, we can't tape it into our calculator um, any other way. I'm just checking my colors here. Okay. Um, right. So we are going to solve this first one for y first by subtracting 3x. So that gives me negative 2y greater than negative 3x minus 6. Don't combine these. Those are not like terms. Then divide by negative 2 everywhere. Those cancel. So I've got y by itself. I put this little hint there. I'm going to put a star by it. You should too. Here we are dividing by a negative number. That means we need to flip that symbol. So it turns from a greater than into a less than. And now we'll simplify the right side. Two negatives make a positive. So that gives me positive 3 halves x which doesn't reduce. Negative 6 over negative 2 does simplify. That's just a positive 3. So we have that one for our first inequality. The second inequality, a little bit easier because I don't have a number in front of that y. So I subtract the 2x to get the y alone. And that's all I have to do. I didn't multiply or divide by a negative, so I don't have to flip the symbol. All I had to do was subtract that 2x, and I'm good to go for that. So when we actually go to graph these, to enter them into our y equals screen, um, we're going to pretend like it's just a regular equation. So we start off just the same as we normally would. Okay. So here's the calculator. We go to that y equals screen. And the reason why I checked the colors is because I wanted to kind of write in the same color that I had on my graphing calculator here because I thought that would illustrate it better. So we've got um, 3 halves x plus 3. So 3 halves, since it's a fraction, I'm going to use the shortcut alpha y equals choice 1. So type in the 3 halves. Then here's the button I use for x and then plus 3. And so I've got that part done. I'm not going to do the second one yet because I'm going to graph them one at a time, but I will add it here in a moment. So that was step one and step two. I've got it equal um, entered. Now I need to change the symbol to match the solved into inequality by choosing one of the two methods. Now, unfortunately, choice two, I can't show you here because the on-screen calculator doesn't have this app. And in fact, a lot of the brand new TI-84 Plus Cs don't have this app. So it's totally fine if you, I'll show you where to find it if you do um, want to look. It's totally fine to do it with choice one. That's what I'm going to do. But I just wanted you to know that there is another option if you'd like to try it and if your calculator has it. There um, are ways to transfer apps from calculator to calculator and from your computer to the calculator. So you could um, try to add the app if you're really interested in that, um, but you can talk to your teacher if you really feel like you um, want to explore choice two more. I'm going to show you choice one here. So we're going to scroll to the left of our y1, y2, whatever um, slot in our y equals screen we are using. and um, we're going to press enter once we're there, and then we're going to choose one of these based on what symbol we have. So in this first one, I have a less than symbol, so I'm going to choose um, my line to be this shaded lower half plane. So less than, lower um, is kind of how I remember it. So now I'm going to show you how we do that. So scroll to the left of the Y1 so that I'm over here. You can see that, and then I'm going to press enter. 
And that's where you could change, you know, if you really, you know, want to switch around these colors because, you know, you really want red to be the first thing that graphs, you can do that. Um, now I'm going to scroll. Um, on this calculator, if you have these options, you scroll with the left and the right. But um, you can, um, on older models, sometimes need to do it by pressing enter. So if you have an older model, you might need to press enter instead of the left and the right. But either way, you're going to choose it so that it looks like this shaded lower half plane and then go back. So now this is what we've got. Next thing that we should do is adjust our scale. We always do that before we graph anything. So this is the same as what we've gone over before. I'm going to go ahead with a standard window because my y-intercept is 3 and a slope of 3 halves. I shouldn't need any crazy windows. So I don't know what window I currently have. I'm just going to press zoom 6 to make sure I go to standard. And then notice that in my lovely blue color, it shades and does the boundary for me. Now, the only thing that this calculator does not do for you is that you have to remember, I'll write it up here, remember to make boundaries dashed for less than or greater than. Your calculator in choice one does not dash it for you, and it should be in this case. So you just have to know and be able to fix that yourself. So now I'm gonna graph the other one. So negative two X minus one, and I'm gonna graph them both at the same time because I want you to see what it does with a system. So I'm going to keep this on. Remember that you can turn equations off without deleting them by pressing enter on top of the equal sign. See how that would turn it off. I don't actually want it off right now, but that just shows you how you can do that. So negative 2x minus 1. And this one was a greater than or equal to. So I'm going to scroll to the left of the y2, press enter. And since it's a greater than or equal to, I want the upper half plane. Okay. Um, also should be fine with standard window, so I don't need to change it. Now I'm going to press graph. It'll re-graph my first inequality, but then it'll go through and graph the second inequality right on top of it. And I really like the color here because it makes it a lot easier to see where the overlap is. Because remember that when you have a system of inequalities, the final answer is the overlap, which you can see where that would be in here. All right, hopefully that helps you out. If you have any questions, see your teacher. They can most definitely assist you.